Spring lawn care is in the air and today I want to give you five tips what you can do right now to be ready for the season. First thing that people often overlook would be your equipment. So sharpening your mower blades, checking the oil on your mower or changing the oil if you didn't do it last fall. Spark plugs, maybe cleaning up your mower too from last fall season when you didn't get it done. Those types of things are often overlooked but spring is a great time to do that so you're ready for the entire season. The second thing would be if you're going to do a soil test this year, doing that before you apply anything to the yard in the spring would be a great thing to do. I just completed a video on soil testing so if you'd like to learn more about that process, how to go about that, that video will explain the steps for you and how to get that soil test done and also go through my soil test and kind of what I found after I did my testing this year. So if you learn nothing else from the test, learning your pH and also your nutrients and what you're going to be looking at for this season in terms of fertilizers will be invaluable going forward. So definitely check out that video on soil testing and I highly recommend doing that before applying anything this spring. Number three would be your pre-emergent. So some of you down south or maybe in the transition zone have already thought about doing your pre-emergent or you already have it down. So for those of you though in the Midwest or north of me, our pre-emergent window here of soil temperatures of 50 to 55 are going to be coming up pretty quickly here. So you're going to want to get that pre-emergent plan in place. I also have a video on this from this season if you'd like to learn more about the types of pre-emergent, what's going to be appropriate for your yard, and also just another reminder here that if you're going to do spring seeding or you have to do any overseeding or anything like that this spring, that a traditional pre-emergent like prodiamine or dithiapyr or even halts from Scott's, which you might find at a store, is not going to work with that spring seeding plan. That's something that you need to be reminded of. If you are going to do a spring seeding, I'm going to have a video on that very soon that explains a different kind of plan and a way that you can approach pre-emergent emergent by using tenacity and some post-emergent spray coming into the summer. Now speaking of seeding, number four is if you're going to do spring seeding or you're going to fix some bare spots in your yard like I have some damage in my backyard from the winter time, then this is the time frame when you're going to want to start to think about doing that, start to think about getting your seed out as temperatures come up and as soil temperatures come up and you're getting into that germination window. Getting that actual grass seed and getting it onto the ground soon is going to be an important thing to start thinking about. Also again with that spring seeding, there are some different ways that you can go about preventing weeds or tackling weeds and I'll be talking about that in that spring seeding video. If you're overseeding though or you want to get a head start on some of that info, last year's video on spring overseeding is going to give you the info you need there too as well. So number five is going to be a culmination of some questions that I've been seeing recently which is about dethatching in the spring, when to do your first mow, when to start applying fertilizer. So for those of us here in the cool season zone, some of you like to dethatch in the spring. For me, I would recommend you wait until you're starting to see some green up and you're starting to maybe mow a couple times so that you don't put too much stress on that still dormant lawn. Otherwise, if you don't have a major thatch problem, you can wait until the fall time if you'd like to do that. And your recovery window in the fall is usually going to be ideal compared to in spring we want to be careful about our cool season lawns here, not put too much stress on them going into an already stressful summer. Number two would be when to complete that first mow. For me, I kind of let the grass grow out a little bit here, get some of that brown stuff to kind of grow out so that I know on my first mow I'm going to be able to cut all that off with the mower without having to go in and scalp the lawn or anything. You don't need to come in and set your mower too low or anything like that. Keep it very close to where you were at the end of last season. Just let it grow out a little bit and also look at your temperatures. Once I'm not getting into the low 30s, or seeing any more hard freezes and temperatures are starting to go up, that's exactly when you can start to think about your first mow. The grass is pretty resilient, so you don't have to be too crazy about it, but those are the general things I would look for with a first mow and when to complete that. As far as fertilizer goes, if you're following a plan like I'm using in my cool season guide, then last fall you were applying fertilizer and setting yourself up for the basis of this season. If you didn't apply anything last fall, or if you're on a spoon feeding program like I am on my low cut turf, then you can think about a light application of fertilizer once you're starting to see green up, or on my spoon feeding program, like I said, after I start to get mowing, then I can start to spoon spoon feed again some small amounts of fertilizer and get back on my program. So if you'd like to follow my cool season guide and a plan for this season on your cool season lawn, then definitely check that out. For those of you down south, if you've got Bermuda grass or zoysia grass, then you've probably already done your scalp or you should be thinking about removing all that dormant material that's there from the winter. And your fertilizing season is going to be going into the spring and the summer as your ideal times for fertilizer. So be thinking of those things down south, I'm betting you probably already are. But for those of us up here in the north, I know we're just kind of getting our season going and I'm sure you're all excited about it. I also have a renovation and overseeding guide that I just completed. It's over 100 pages of info on how to complete a full renovation overseeding as well and I've been working on that all winter so I'm excited to finally have that out for you guys. I also have an enormous announcement coming very soon that's going to be something amazing for the channel going forward so I can't wait to tell you about all of that. Thanks so much for watching this video today. We'll see you next time.